Hi, I'm Bobby Russell here with Quest for Stars at the Ultimate Dually Flyby, and I've got a special two guests here. Um, basically, they're Kathy Olkins. Uh, they're related to Kathy Olkin, and they're part of the mission. And one's going to Georgia Tech. And uh, first, uh, introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about how you first uh, found a love for science. Sure. So, uh, yeah, my name's Zach Olkin. Uh, I go to Georgia Tech now. I really first started to get interested in like science and technology when I was really young, probably around fourth grade, when I. Um, started on a robotics team and um, we started with little Lego robots and that was really interesting because I really learned I like to like make things and uh, like really learn about the world and like work with that physical aspect so I've always been really interested in like physics and like robotics um, and that so uh, and then I can also remember like when I was really young we were at the like launch site which I barely remember but um, like seeing the, seeing the rocket go up um, was really awesome. Awesome and please? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Jake Olkin. Um, so I had more or less started the same way as he did with uh, science and uh, robotics. My mom and I, we started a Lego robotics team at my middle school, and that was really when I got into it, because I remember that very first year, I spent hours and hours trying to work on this one line following program. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it was really cool when, it, like, it took a, a long time to get it to work, because like, I was really little. I'd never <laughs> dealt with this sort of thing before. Um, but getting that to work was probably the first time that I really realized that, oh my god, robots are science. This sort of thing is really cool. Um, and then as for more of my relation to the, uh, to the mission, uh, I also remember going to the, to the flight and then also remember hearing all the stories, all the back and forth. I have been uh, went into some of the meetings. Uh, I know a lot of the people on the mission. So it's been cool. While I haven't like, very directly contributed myself, it's very cool to, been to have been along for the ride. <laughs> Awesome. So if you could share anything with students that are challenged and following their dreams, what would you say to them based off of your path and your experience? Um, if there's one th thing that you can always more or less do to get further towards your kind of goal or dreams or any of that, it's just half of, I think 80% of life is showing up. Someone else mm -hmm. said that first. <laughs> but it's a good, it's a good, uh, it's a good rule because showing up and being there is how you get to start doing something, and then it's all about just showing up again and again is how you continue to do it. Outstanding, and you? Yeah, I would just say you always just gotta like give it your best and stick with it because a lot of the time it's not gonna work or something's gonna be really frustrating, but it's um, it's really the people who stick with it and keep going, which like they really go the extra mile and they get the results. Um, so I would just say that even though you may not understand something or may not seem like you could ever understand it, you definitely can and you will. Uh, you just gotta keep going. All right. Good words for students and we appreciate that. This is yes. Bobby Russell signing off at the Ultimate Dual A Flyby.